All right, welcome, doctors, marketing liaisons in the Prime Spine Consulting Program. It's Mark Slater here, and welcome to today's live Q&A webinar. I am honored to have Dr. Jeffrey Kronk. I've been a chiropractor for over 31 years. He's also uh, an attorney. Uh, I met Dr. Kronk, uh, and we realized that our programs really complement each other. I have a marketing program to help you tell your story to as many attorneys and doctors as you possibly can in the market at an accelerated rate for more referrals. And Dr. Kronk is going to show you how to be unique in this market, show you how you can have an X factor so that when you walk into a law firm or a doctor, they remember you because you're different than all the other chiropractors or 90% of the other chiropractors or doctors uh, to these law firms. So welcome to today's webinar. It's how using hidden high ROI activities will help to explode your personal injury practice growth. So uh, I'd like to welcome Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Kronk. Dr. Kronk, go ahead and take it away. Thank you very much, Mark. You can hear me just fine? I hear you perfectly. All right, great. So first of all, thank you for having me on. Thank you for putting me on with your group and, and, and down your line. Um, as we, you and I have talked, look, it, it, we have I have a perfect program, a perfect complementary program to the Prime Spine Consulting program, the Marketing Liaison program. It's a, sort of a marriage uh, made in heaven. Uh, it's very easy to understand how these two systems would really work to help to explode your practice. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to I'm going to show I'm going to share the program with you. It's called the Smart Injury Doctors uh spinal injury practice building success system and i'm gonna share what 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 really is that like people doctors have heard about it what really is it i'm gonna spend about five minutes going over who i am and possibly why i have a unique background i'm gonna spend about 30 or 35 minutes showing you this program and then at the end uh doctors i'll answer any questions you have but at the end i'm also going to show you a offer that i'm going to make to to the prime spine consulting community um, that I think is like an outrageous offer, a really cool offer. So I want to spend just the first five minutes going over a little bit of who I am. It's going to be really quick. First of all, like you, I've been a licensed doctor of chiropractic for 30 years. Um, I've been in the rooms 175,000 times. I've delivered over a million spinal adjustments. I've developed two. Now this is where it gets a little unique. This is where my background gets unique. Um, I've developed two national spinal ligament injury testing companies, and that's for the non-disc spinal ligament injury. Um, that's what I'm going to spend some time on today. That is the number one cause of pain and disability in the market today. Not the disc, the non-disc ligament injury. Currently, I'm a CEO of a, of a medical spinal ligament testing company that tests for the non-disc ligament injuries. Um, and I've developed the system that our company uses called CRMA. Um, I'm also in the process of co-developing something that's going to kind of be really unique in the market. It's uh, artificial intelligence that helps to pick up the excessive motion left behind by these non-disc ligament injuries. Um, I'm a published spinal ligament injury researcher. I completed a law degree in 2013. I developed the first online spinal ligament injury training program for doctors and for lawyers in this very specific area, this very specific niche. So. I write regularly for Entrepreneur Magazine. Um, anybody can kind of look me up. Google search my name. You'll see I've written all kinds of stuff, how technology will solve chronic pain. Um, I've written for a lot of the most influensive uh, blogs in the country. This one's called Actually Influensive. Uh, tech and Health, you know, so I'm, I'm out there and I'm talking a lot about how do we improve uh, spinal injuries and how you improve it first of all is you have to understand the injury itself and that's what's really lacking in the market there's a lot of providers that treat there's a and, and there's a lot of good providers and I, I I was a good provider that treated I didn't know what spinal ligament or what spinal injuries look like uh, for probably the first nine years of my private practice and I did really well so it's not something that is uncommon it's something that's very common it's commonly not understood about the spinal ligament injury now that offers a great so you know part of what i did also is i published research in this area i published a lot of different all in the same area all on these non-disc spinal ligament injuries so 
what this program is, is it's a program, and I apologize for, I see this picture over here is blurry. Uh, I apologize for that. But the three big things that Mark talked about that we're going to talk about, I'm going to share with you in just a second. But what I'm going to share with you is that this whole entire platform, this whole training program that I've set up is all on it, it, and a training platform that you can train with it all on your phone. So you can be riding your bike and train. You can be working out and train. You can be driving in the car and train. And I'll show you today just how simple it is to do and how little time it takes. So the three big things, and I don't want you to get too involved in this slide and all the, all the written content here. There's three things that you have to do if you want to really blow up and have a much easier time blowing up in this current spinal injury market. The first and most important thing is you got to be unique. You got to have something to offer the market that's unique, that's different. If I've got 60 chiropractors in my local market, what is it that makes me unique? What, what, what am I doing or what am I going to be able to talk about that the other 60 aren't? I'm going to show you that. That's that's spinal ligament injuries. Now, if you soon as I can imagine if you're sitting out there right now going, I already know about spinal ligament injuries. I can't imagine how that would make you unique. I'm going to show you how it does. And I'm going to show it to you really quickly how it does. So this part of being unique is, is step one. Now, kind of think of it this way. If, if you had the cure for chronic pain and the patient, I don't know, they had to see about 20 different times. 30 different times and they they you but whatever you were doing with your procedures in your clinic it definitely was revolutionary okay you couldn't do it by yourself like you can't be all things so you'd have to develop a team around you to help you so the first thing is you got to be unique then you got to build a team around you to help express that uniqueness now that's super powerful. This is super powerful. Then you gotta be able to get out and promote and advertise. That's where your marketing liais liaison comes in, right? So this right here, I'm gonna spend the mo majority of time because if you understand that there is this market that's unique, then you understand all of the materials that we build. See, once if I've got this unique thing, let's say I've got this unique thing and it, it causes, it, it creates, takes away chronic pain. They got to come in about 33 times, right? Well, I gotta, I gotta create materials around that. Like, how does anybody know about it? How, how would anybody, how would a patient know about it? How would an attorney know about it? How would a medical doctor know about it? How would the insurance carriers know about it? How would my staff know about it? What would they communicate? What materials would they give out to communicate with? So the first part to get though is. Once this is understood how unique this is, then all the other things that we built around it will make complete sense. So that first thing is you got to be unique. Now, there's only three injuries a spine can have. Today, I'm not going to go into great detail. There's only three. Um, the, the spine is only made of bone and connective tissue. So if you damage something, you have to damage it. And damaging it means you have to derange it in some way. So I, I can't have a fracture without damaging or deranging the bone. I can't have a ligament injury without deranging the ligaments, right? The market knows this one, disc herniation. It's not the most important spinal ligament injury, far from it. The non-disc, so there's 197 ligaments. There's 220 specialized ligaments, 23 of which are discs. So there's 197 non-disc ligaments. Now, again, I'm not going to spend any time trying to educate you on that, the ins and outs of it. I can guarantee you in my program, the biggest thing that most doctors go through is, and the biggest thing that I have to challenge the doctor is find a person that knows how to determine the severity and location of a spinal ligament injury. They're not out there. You can, t hey, they can send out for an MRI. Good. Big deal. That's only 23 or 10% of the ligament structure, and it's not the main problem. The disc is not the main supporting ligament in the spine. The nine ligaments around the disc are. And understanding these nine ligaments, these are the key to reimbursement problems. These are the key to attorney referral problems, to medical doctor referrals. These are the key to 
communication to the patient, expectation. These are the key to better compliance, better treatment results. Patients that go on to understand that they need some form of continued care. Um, <clears throat> these are the things that make it really, really you're able to compete with anybody in the spinal injury market. I don't care if you have providers that are super big already in the market that already have all these established relationships. Um, you're like a jet with that aircraft carrier. It can't maneuver fast enough. Now, if you are an aircraft carrier, this material allows you to actually put a whole bunch of jets on your deck to fight off any little jet that's coming in. So it works for no matter what level of, of, of practice that you are. Now, it's hard for me, to, again, to explain, good, that this is a wide open market. So I'm gonna let somebody else explain it. So this is Chris Eppenmew. He has a multidisciplinary clinic, very good clinic. Uh, he's been a, uh, on the staff of a hospital and he has a multidisciplinary clinic. He's been in the injury market for a very long time, right? He comes in, I say, hey, look, there's this wide open market within the injury market called the spinal ligament injury market. Now, listen to what he says is, is there competition in this market? And then what he talks about is how easy it is to go out and explain this to medical doctors. Chris, is there anyone in, in spinal ligament injury market, in your experience, now that you started applying this program, is there anyone really in this market? There is nobody in this market. Nobody at all. Not even close. So it's wide open. Wide open. Right, which is one of the things that I love about this program. So you just shared like how easy is this to go to, to to take it to MDs? Share what you just shared about the Urgy Care Center that you just recently went out. It, fantastic, easy, very very easy to talk to. Um, don't even have to get into detail. Tell them that we're we just told them that we're objectifying a cervical sprain, taking it one step further. Where's the level at? How bad it is? So on and so forth. Right, so you don't have to get into the nitty gritty. You don't have nope. to get into what is alteration motion segment integrity. Matter of fact, aren't you finding that the simpler you keep it, the easier and better it is? Absolutely. What he's not talking about there is also, and again, these are sound bites, is he has materials he can leave behind. Materials that will make the medical doctor go, oh my God, All right? He has those materials left behind that he can leave behind. So it's not just, uh, again, in this two-minute soundbite, you're not getting to the total picture, but all I want all I want you to do is get an idea. Now, injury documentation has been a big issue for doctors for a long time. Injury documentation is super simple. I don't if right now it's complicated. Good, I'm going to show you a system that you can enter into your complicated, stay as complicated as you want to, but add this simplicity into it. And it's going to be dramatically more powerful. You've heard about Colossus. That's the insurance industry softwares. I use that term in this little clip, but what I want you to understand is what he's saying here about the documentation for injuries, because that's a big aspect of reimbursement in your business. And then also about how easy it was to explain this to his medical doctor. Um, as far as documentation, I talk a lot about, not a lot, but I talk about the Colossus documentation and the, simplifying this whole documentation thing. How do you find the documentation? It's pretty simple, correct? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. I mean, it, it's not adding any extra work to you. Right, so it's just, it, it, it's really easy to incorporate. And once you understand what they're looking for, it's very logical. Yes. So that's-, that's everything. Right. We, yeah, like I said, everything that we use you know, I even explained it to, we have a physical medicine rehabilitation doctor in our office. And I sat down this last time he was here, he was like, Chris, educate me a little bit more about these ligament injuries. Boom, he gets it. We talked about how everything we're using, AMA, okay. You know, Medscape is talking about, okay, these symptoms mimic a symptom of a disc herniation. So everything that we're using is medical Bible to them, okay. Right. He sat down and he was like, I get it. No, no questions asked. I get it. Now, what I want to share with you is what he's talking about. Uh, he's working with an attorney group because remember, I said, look, you got to have something unique. He's He's got the uniqueness. The uniqueness is there. Uh, he's built his team. He's trained his staff. And now he's out marketing. 
and he's taken this concept out to an, a law firm that he's used for a long time. Listen to what he says. Based Same on thing. I mean, I, we, we've had a, uh, a group that we've been using for, a, a, I mean, prior to spinal ligament injuries. And again, they introduced me uh, in front of their, their home group and, and was like, listen, we are settling cases at a higher rate with Chris because of these diagnostic ligament instability injuries. That's fantastic. Plus, they've also asked you to speak now, correct? Correct. And they're not even getting as much pushback from these insurance companies because of the objective findings. Good. So I'm going to just give you another. This is from six days ago. So this is a half hour presentation given to Morgan & Morgan, half hour in office meeting. And here it is, Dr. Kronk, I have a client that needs to have an evaluation done. She had a normal MRI, but is complaining of ongoing low back pain. Now, her name, his name, the chiropractor's name. Um, what this is, is it's just showing that there's this non-disc ligament injury space. Um, it's the most lucrative, it's the highest, it's because once you understand it, it opens the door to just about anything that you want to do or pursue in the injury market. Let's say you want to be huge in work comp. Well, huge in work comp, let's say you want to go to an employer. What is it that you, is unique about you going to the employer? Why should, let's say you got nine clinics in the Houston area, or you got 10 clinics in the, in the San Francisco area, and now you want to go out to a firm and you want to become that firm's go-to firm for work comp for the HR person to refer into you. Good. What do you have that's selling that's unique? Right? Well, we're going to, what our doctors are trained to, to talk to them about is the main issue that they have is the non-disc ligament issue. And you are, you specialize in being able to evaluate that. And the more that you know it's there, the more you can gear your treatment toward it, the better your results are going to be. So to kind of give you another idea of this, um, I'm going to just pull up a piece of research and it says, hey, the ligament component of the spinal stability is related to support health and proper function of these tissues and over, often overlooked as a major, if not the major source of pain and ultimate degeneration. Now, it's going to separate it out. It says this component is the main source of pain and ultimate de degeneration, not the disc. The case can be made that excess or even complete dependence on MRIs focus too much attention on the disc and the vertebrae themselves to the exclusion of the ligaments and the facet joint capsules. So again, here's a real world scenario. This is a attorney, has a 15 year old girl. She's suffering, eight weeks into it, the MRI is clean. So 100%. Now he hears about a lecture on non-disc ligament damage. He knows that there's a way to pick that up. There's companies that do testing for it. One of them happens to be Spinal Kinetics. So he sends out for a spinal kinetics test. The person has severe, he's going to say angulation and, and, and translation. And again, I don't want you, doctors will hear, oh, translation and angulation. I already know about that. No, they don't. Um, usually I can get on with a doctor and within about two minutes, like less than that, 30 seconds, I can go, okay, how much do you really know about this? Because if you really know about it, the market's wide open for you. It's like so wide open, it's unbelievable because there's nobody in it. Um, so this is what he's talking about. But what he's talking about is this disc is clean. And now listen to the degenerative change. Listen to what happened. Doctor, let me, let me explain what opened my eyes to the situation was after listening to you, I had Gina's case. Right, Gina was, was a 15 year old that was in a car accident and her chiropractor did an MRI two to three months post accident that showed up perfectly normal. Two years later, Gina is still having significant cervical pain. And I uh, used that as my first test case. We had x-rays done. Uh, in, in that particular case, they were done by motion uh, uh, x-rays but uh, digital motion x-rays and your spinal uh, kinetics did the assessment, the computerized assessment and valuation and turned out that she had significant and rateable objective findings of significant uh, um, motion segment 
integrity, both in her case, both angular and translational. Yeah. And um, I decided to go back and have her uh, have an MRI done a little more than two years later. And all of a sudden, this 15 year old spine that had been uh, imaged by MRI right after the accident as totally normal shows the degeneration of a 45 to 50 year old lady. Good, so that just shares with you that the non-disc ligament damage that causes spinal instability, the main stabilizing ligament of the spine is not the disc, it's the nine, it's the nine ligaments around it. And so Doctor, all this does is it just kind of shows you there's this specialty, there's this area, right? I'm gonna give you one more example. Um, this is a, there is no disc in the cranial cervical junction. So the majority of the market just knows disc. The majority of the, 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 the attorney market, which is fantastic for doctors that know the non-disc ligament damage, it's so easy to go in with attorneys to have something that you're targeting that's unique. Well, you're gonna target the fact that the 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 you're going to target the fact that they're just doing MRIs, all right? The MRI does nothing for the cranial cervical junction, not one thing, right? Now you learn in the program all the various conditions that can be caused by simple ligament damage. Occam's razor says, hey, simplest simplest solution is probably always the best. The simplest thing that would cause these things is the ligament damage especially if it's consistent with it, these, these things are popping up right after the right after the accident. So in California, there's groups of, of doctors, there's groups of chiropractors in California that only do an MRI. They never do x-rays, right? So you can't pick up the non-disc ligament damage on x-ray. That's not where you're going to pick it up. You're going to, or you, on MRI, excuse me. So this is just an example of, hey, this person has an accident. They have syncope, which is fainting and a drop attack at the same time. They get dizzy, vertigo, and then they drop. They faint and they drop, they pass out. It's called syncope, all right? Syncope, the most common cause, especially if it occurs after an accident, is cranial cervical junction ligament damage. Now, the doctors that were working with this, this attorney didn't know that. They didn't know anything about that. They didn't even know how to diagnose it, right? So I worked with the attorney, and this is what he had to say. Um, can I, hey, Doc, can I tell a, a war story real quick on that, that yeah, point? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, a patient got, re sorry, a client got referred in, and uh, the, the injury had happened maybe about six months prior, and she was, it's the same scenario. She went to the chiropractor. They, they did a, some very light adjustments, but just really focused on massage, and kind of did that, and she got some relief, but she started having syncope. You know, she and she kind of put put it all together after she had a few episodes. She's she realized that it all started right after um, the crash. So she, we got so she came into our office and we started talking like, well, tell us more about this syncope. Well, we the, what, what do we do? We we immediately so six months after the the crash, we sent her out and had lateral upper cervical flex or not upper upper cervical lateral images taken. And she had a massive instability of C1 on C2. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Kronk, you and I went back and forth. You helped me so much on this one. Could you help explain that to me and why she was having the vertigo and 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 passing out? But, right. but so so the the rest of that story real quick. So yeah, no X-rays. Six months later, we took just those lateral flexion ones, and we got we ended up settling the thing for for policy limits. So here's the, th here's the thing, doctor. A lot of doctors will say, hey, I already know about the cranial cerv cervical junction and I already know about it. But you don't know, in my experience, a lot of doctors don't know with conviction, right? When an attorney is reaching out to you, and in, in my program, I teach you how to get the, the cell phone number and they're gonna reach out to you. But when they reach out to you, you have to have pretty good conviction of what it is that they're missing, what it is that they need to find, what it is that, the person actually has. And it can't be, when you have that, um, that makes you super high, that makes you super highly unique. Now, I'm just gonna give you, if I go out and take this uniqueness and I present it to an attorney group, 
right? I'm just going to give you, these are, this is two minutes, from a minute and a half of just feedback. So I've just done a pre presentation that I teach doctors to do with a law firm. You, any doctor can do it, right? So this is the first comment is the, this is what the attorney is saying. Any other questions? And, and I'll stay as long as you want. No, I mean, you know, this uh, this makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it makes me feel like I've been missing the boat for quite a while. Okay, makes him feel like he's been missing the boat for quite a while. Good. Is he going to miss the boat forever now? No. Is he going to be mine as far as being able to uh, show him what they need to do and why they want to refer into my center? And, and I don't care if it's your your clients or if it's your family or your your personal See, what I, I want to help doctors do is be the clinic that everyone would send to. See, a lot of attorneys, would they work with doctors that they would never send their family to. I hate to say that to you, but I work with enough attorneys, and I think Mark could, 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 could say this as well. Attorneys will work with doctors that they would never use personally, and they do it all the time. But what we want to create is the doctor that they would also use personally if their teenager had a problem in the cranial cervical junction. They, they were throwing up because they have migraine headaches. This is where they wanna to go to. Now the second, the second lawyer is gonna talk about how uh, this possibly should be malpractice not to understand and not to test for these, for these ligament damage. This is just all for a 20 minute presentation. Look, look, it would be nigh malpractice to a provider to deny this test um, and a great disservice for an attorney not to refer this test where it's available, it's inexpensive, um, okay, so um, doctors any other questions? Any doc doctors will sometimes go out and say, hey, um, you know, attorneys don't understand these. Attorneys don't understand this. Man, that's, that's music to my ears because that, that's the golden opportunity because I know the reason why the providers are saying the attorneys don't understand this, the attorneys don't understand this, I don't know how to get the attorneys to understand this is because they don't understand it. And you can't explain something simply that you don't un you don't understand, and you have to understand something really really well to make it simple. So, in this program, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one last. This is a doctor, and you know one of the things that you might run into is that you have to testify, right? So, how does this stuff work when you testify? Well, here's here's one doctor's experience. Hey, Dr. Cron. Hey, Dr. Smith. I got you on record, if that's all hey, right with you. you. Is that all right with you? Sure. Okay. You called earlier. What was the call about? Uh, my first case settled, and it settled for $370,000. Congratulations. What? Thank you. Now, that was the one that you were in court just Tuesday, right? That's correct. Okay, and that was your first one where you did testimony on ligament damage. That's correct. Uh, and you had a pot, and uh, if I, I had remember, a good time. And you had a good time? Or, yeah. I wasn't scared. I wasn't flustered. I, I didn't have any problems in court. Um, the attorney for my patient kept me on the stand for three and a half hours. I didn't know it was that late. Uh, I know that I was thirsty. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any water. <laughs> and uh, okay, so the time went by pretty quick. In other words, you were obviously yeah. Well, I wasn't just sitting there. I had um, the pictures of the of the the model. You know, the one that I think you've shown it before. That's got all the ligaments on it. The ten ligaments you always talk about. Absolutely. I explained that. I also had a um, a model, and I showed how the spine sheared in the accident. Yeah, and then I used the. Um, so you uh, you actually showed the mechanism of injury and the lesion that's left behind. That's correct. Good. So what a lot of doctors do, and this this is you know another testimony. Hey, I had a great time testifying in court weeks back. I spent 12 years getting battered and bruised as an exposing uh, by opposing attorneys when I was called as an expert witness in auto accident cases. I was often made to feel like a second-class healthcare provider explaining my care, utilizing the spinal ligament injury assessment tools I've learned. I simply explain the mechanism of injury the patient suffered. And by the way, most doctors in the market do not know the simplicity of what that sentence really means. I gave simple analogies the jury understood and I had a blast. I can't wait to go back again. So um, it allows you to be really good 
in all phases of a personal injury practice. Um, and that's that's the beauty of it. Now, that's the Smart Injury Doctors Training Program. And in a bit, I'll show you just how these how these roll out and how easy they are. Once you have that, so you as a clinician need to understand that. And the more that you understand that, the easier everything else is here. Because this is super easy because we made it super easy. We 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 went, okay. One of the things with why I call this a practice uh, building success system is because it allows you to do a lot of practice building from a lot of different approaches. So one of the biggest approaches that you can do is to train your patients. You wanna train your patients. If you have something that's so unique that it's difficult to get anywhere in the market, you need to train your patients about that so that when they hit injury patients, so let's say I got 10 injury patients a month that I treat, I want all 10 of those patients a walking billboard for my services. Right, because I got my practice liaison person out working attorneys, out working medical doctors. But what about internally? Why aren't my patients walking out and getting introductions for me? Why aren't my patients, if I'm not attached to that attorney, why isn't my patient telling the attorney something unique about me that makes the attorney want to reach out to me? What if the medical doctor that the person is working with is be able to be explained something that's so unique that the medical doctor is now reaching out to me. So there's a lot of different ways to build a personal injury practice. Matter of fact, some of you have 10,000 people in your databases. Like I just, we just enrolled a person in this program that had 20,000 patients in his database. He's an insurance practice. He's trying to figure out how to build an, uh, an injury practice. I was like, my God, you have 2,200 injuries every year in that database. All you need to do is communicate to your back end, right? But what are you going to communicate to them? What 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 marketing message are you going to communicate? What pieces are you going to give them? What information do you have that's pre-built for you? So what we do is we say, hey, here's how you're going to be unique by training you. Then we build a whole lot of materials around that that are already done for you, that you would spend hundreds and hundreds of hours, in some cases years, trying to figure out how to build. So the next port, though, is you want to train your staff. Now, this is a super high ROI activity. A trained staff will easily pull you in two to four injury referrals a month. You just got to train them, right? But part of training them is you also have to have done for them marketing materials that they're going to introduce patients to. And that we provide it. So um those materials and I'll and I'll show you those materials are all done for you so you're also going to train your staff though on what like what actually happens on day 1 see I'm going to generate a ton of referrals from day 1 activities because day 1's a really cool day it's got a day where you you're coming in the patients coming in they're doing all your they're getting introduced to your clinic they're getting introduced to the flow you're going to do a consult with them Man, what I communicate in a consult is going to generate referrals. Now, not every time, but it's going to generate referrals. What I'm explaining in an exam is going to generate referrals. And it's also going to generate the patient understanding what it is that we're looking for and why we're looking for it and why it's so important. Because remember, they're going to go out, they're going to go home with materials that actually also reinforce everything I just said in a RO, in a in a uh in a consult, everything I said in an exam, everything that I said in an in an X-ray referral, they're going to go home with more materials to read about that. And the other thing they're going to do is, if you're smart, we've already set it up for you, all done for you, is they're going to get an automated email sequence as a new person into your clinic that's going to help them understand the journey of their injury recovery and what they can do to help themselves. And it's going to reinforce the materials you sent them home with. The materials you talk to them about in the RO, in the uh, consult, in the exam, in the in the X-rays, it's going to reinforce the material that you're going to talk about in the R, in the report of findings, in any injury testing uh, explanations. It's going to explain. You're going to explain what every staff member is going to understand what you're doing with every aspect of that. Because if you develop a team and everybody understands what's going on in each one of those procedures and they know the questions to what, what's going to get asked and what the answers are to those questions, 
it makes for a super unique patient experience, like something that they don't normally experience. And when you experience, if I go to an auto mechanic, right, not only do they fix my car, they get my car, they know exactly what the problem is, they fix it, and they 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 clean my car, they vacuum it. Like I'm gonna ref like we have, and I have a auto mechanic like that. Everyone I know that says, do you need an auto mechanic? Where do we send them? Same auto mechanic, right? So one of the ways that you can build a practice is by educating your people on what makes you unique so they can educate others. And we do that in the form of, of done pre-done for you materials, but we also do it with checklists. So there's a checklist for every main procedure, everything you're gonna do on day one. There's a checklist for it. So you can train with that checklist. Now, it's not like you're gonna check off everything on the checkbox, you're just gonna make sure you're doing all these things in that, in that procedure. So to kind of give you an idea, let's go to Smart Injury Doctors, let's go to Login. And so you would log in, this is where we're gonna teach you to be unique. This is under six hours, under six hours. Um, this is a staff training program. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna go, hey, welcome to the staff training program. Good, you're gonna get a welcome. These are all really short videos. There's a training video for your staff on what makes you unique. You're gonna show them. There's gonna be, hey, this is where all the patient materials are. You should read them, know them, know what they are. Uh, this is your automated email sequence that you should set up for your new, new patients. And then you're gonna go into day one. Okay, good, what is your day one visit? Well, you're gonna go day one, here's everything you need to know in a check sheet. Here's why you might use a smart injury icing sheet. Uh, here's what you're gonna do in the consultation. Here's the things that you might need. Here's what you're gonna do in the exam. Here's what you're gonna, so it lays it all out, but everybody's organized so that everybody knows what everybody else is doing in the clinic. Now, that leads to a hell of a lot of referrals because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of practices that do it. And it's all, all you have to do, you're in a meeting, great, let's go over, what do we do in an ROF? Or in a, uh, it, well, in this case, in an ROF, that's the one I have up. Good, what are we doing in that ROF? What are we talking about? What are we explaining? So all done for you. Uh, materials, so it says here, have the smart injury recommendations ready for them. Good, that's a, that's a, that's a marketing piece that you're gonna download you're gonna take out to a printer and you're gonna print it up. It's gonna talk about water, hydration. It's gonna talk about sleep. It's gonna talk about anti-inflammatory diet. It's gonna talk about the three phases of care and what phase they're currently in. It's gonna talk about how important it is to keep on their schedule. So it's it's not unique to a technique, it's unique to injury, injury work. So this is uh, Ron Benson. So since beginning Dr. Kronk's program, I've increased over one new personal injury case per week by referral directly from using the materials and the information to educate attorneys and patients. Now, one new, one new injury patient a week, for some clinics, um, like that's, that puts your kids in whatever college you wanna send them to, you're driving whatever car you wanna drive. I mean, that, that's a total changed, uh, existence. That's one, so 52 additional, this is additional. This is, I have increased by over one. This is, he already had a good injury practice. He's increased this by this amount. Attorneys are excited to learn the injuries leave a pattern. They're amazed at the exact location and severity of the injury can be determined and showed objectively. What are often called only soft tissue injuries are now able to be settled or litigated for severity of permanent ligament injury. Thank you. Okay. Now, one of the things as, remember, we're making you unique. This program is gonna make you unique. We're gonna train your staff, but you and your staff should have a private Facebook user group that you can get your questions answered for implementation or anything else. So that's part of the program. We add that. Now, once you're unique, once you built your team, and remember, building your team is not just your staff and your patients. If I got an attorney that's sending me two cases, three cases, four cases, 10 cases a month, he's on my team or she's on my team. If I got a medical doctor in an urgent care center that's sending me two to five patients referrals a month, they're on my team. If I got an employer that I went out and now their HR person is sending me two or three injury cases a month or 10 or 20, they're on my team. 
if the union that I actually went out and promoted to, the carpenters union, understands these injuries and how it can seriously reduce down the career of a carpenter, I'm they're on my team. They're sending me on referrals. If I have a hospital that I think, hey, this hospital wants to purchase injury centers. They don't, they want to stop having the injury patients come into their emergency rooms and now they want outpatient treatment centers. Hospitals are going to that today. Good. I got an ex exit strategy. They could be on my team. So the team is really, it, it, it's a much broader team, but you got to have something unique to take to that team. Now, the last part is said, hey, three, you got to learn to advertise, right? So we have all kinds of pre-written materials. You just simply go in, you download the material, you take it to the printer, and it says, hey, your clients may be more injured than you think. Now, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, this will say spinal kinetics, you're gonna see, you might see smart injury doctors. These, you can actually put your own information on. You can put your own logos on, right? The hard part is spending the two or three or 400 hours writing all this stuff up, and what images are you gonna display? in the written text to display what you just said. That's the part that's hard. That's the part that you won't do. The part that's easy is having somebody on Fiverr put your logo in it. That's easy. That takes like 20 bucks and 10 minutes, okay? But writing up all these materials, materials that you're gonna send out, these are materials for attorneys. This is an attorney, attorney, attorney. This is medical doctor, medical doctor. Uh, this is medical doctor. This is patient. This is medical doctor. This is imaging centers. So these are pre-written materials that we have in what's called the Smart Injuries Doctors Marketing Program. We have clinic injury posters. Remember, we're gonna train your staff on what makes you unique and these spinal ligament injuries are gonna make you unique. Well, you gotta have stuff around your office that's up. So what do you do? You download the poster, you take it into the print shop. Take it over to the framer, they frame it, you put it up on your office. Um, we have a number of them. Um, you have to have, now you wanna go to social media, right? Because advertising is getting attention. You wanna get attention in the market. If I gave you, my market, I'm sure is great at, if I gave you the statistics of like YouTube, people use YouTube to go out and search for things and, and understand things. Well, we have videos for social media. We have, uh, tons and tons of Facebook posts, all with the same thing, condition-based videos. All in our program, there's probably about 150 different videos for you to do use in different scenarios. So here's, here's an example. Today, people anguish over finding the right auto mechanic when they have car problems, simply because they don't wanna get ripped off and they wanna find somebody that they can trust to do a good job. Today, when you injure your spine, you should be just as choosy when choosing your doctor. Because current research shows that those that injure their spine have a 50% chance of never fully recovering. To make life easier for patients, we've created a better spinal injury doctor. We call this doctor a smart injury doctor. And their sole purpose is to be able to quickly resolve your spinal injuries so that they do not affect you for the rest of your life. If you've injured your spine, please call our office today. So if you wanted to go out and have somebody do a video like that, if you can find somebody to do it for a hundred bucks, God bless you, <laughs> right? And we have about 150 different videos in this program. So if we do hundred dollars a video, that's $15,000 worth of videos, right? Now the videos, again, if I go out to this practice and I go, all right, they're gonna take one of our videos. They're gonna take one of our videos and at the end, treat symptoms instead of the they're going to put their logo in it. Spend your time with a smart injury doctor so you can get back to enjoying life's precious moments. Call uh, our office today. Again, the hard part is not having an outro made for you. And for those of you that don't know, don't know what an outro is, it's just a, it's just your your logoed information in a video. Developing an outro is like insanely cheap. You can get somebody on Fiverr to do it for you for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. They can add it to any video and it's super cheap to do. So all of the marketing materials that we have, it's not, it's, it, it, you can put your information into them. The hard part is not doing that. The hard part was doing them and, and producing all of them. So 
this is Stephen Woods. Hey, he's gonna, he's going to say, you know what? He worked with me for a little bit. What he did is he said, hey, these spinal ligament injuries, let me see what it's like to take these out to attorneys. Could you do a couple of webinars for me? I said, sure. I'll do a couple little programs. I did two half-hour programs for him. Right? We did two half-hour programs. He went to old old law firms that he used to work with that he wasn't working with anymore, and he wanted to see if he couldn't re-engage the activity with those law firms. Good. Dr. Kronk performed the webinars with several of these firms. So far, it's brought in a funnel of over a dozen new cases in the past two weeks with the attorneys wanting these studies performed. Our phone has been ringing this week, and three more have scheduled uh, on top of our regular PI work comp cases just because of the implementation. So this stuff is not hard especially when you're going out to attorneys, but you're going out to attorneys with something new, something unique, right? When I say going out to attorneys, um, all of the materials, when I say, hey, we have a marketing program for attorneys, that means you have the PowerPoint. You have me showing you how to present it. You want to go to physician's assistant, same thing. You want to go to medical doctors, same thing. You want to go to the general public, same thing. All in the same program. You want to write blog posts. Good. We've got pre-written materials for you. You want to do PowerPoints and you want PowerPoint slides and things like that so you can mix and match your slides to do other programs. Good. All done. Now, the other thing and the last thing, and then I'm going to get into, okay, what does this thing cost, is I also do a monthly implementation call. It's like a mastermind call. Now, I charge for consulting fees for clinics to as a consultant. So, this is an additional thing that I do that's one to everybody. Everybody can get on this call with me and we go over any implementation or any problems that a person is having. Everything in here is again, I'll just come out to the smart injury doctors, log in. You'll see, hey, doctors, staff, deposition, marketing. On the marketing, it's really simple. We have this attorney marketing, medical doc, we have all of these resources and they're all done for you. All you do is come right in, go, hey, this is what's working. Good, you're gonna come right in, there's the PowerPoint. And you're just gonna download it. This whole, this whole educational piece is how I present that PowerPoint. So that you are not, you're not in the, you know, you're, you're not blind with it at all. So what I wanna do now, and I apologize, I'm just slightly over the time I said it would be, is what does it cost? Like I wanted to make something so incredible for Mark and your and your, your your group. So it's like, all right, what does this cost? Well, here it is. First of all, this is going to be for Prime Spine Consulting. Um, what we normally would sell. If you went out to our website, you wanted to buy the doctor's training program, which I do not recommend. You're buying it alone because you're going to buy all the other component parts around it. Is 1997. If you buy the staff injury staff training program, right? It's 1997. If you buy the deposition mastery program, it's 997. If you buy the marketing program, I mean we put it at 4997, but there's easily probably twenty thousand dollars worth of value in that program. Um, just you would not do you you would not create the marketing pieces that we have in there, all the educational pieces. So we have a free Facebook user group to assist you. Um, we have a monthly mastermind. So um, I put that over one year. I'm going to show you a lifetime program. I put that over one year. The value of that would be about $3,000. So it's a total package value of around $13,000, almost $14,000. We sell it now for $49.99. So if you went out to our website and said, how much does this cost to get in? It's $49.99. You can go right on our website. So. I'm a guy that says, hey, let me, let me let's let's sweeten some stuff up. Let's let's let me offer something that is going to be irresistible. So we have a course called a professional follow-up for referrals. And it does some additional things on your attorney marketing. Um, when you go out with your with your practice liaison, um, one of the things that it would be nice to have is when you're putting the attorney in and you're meeting with the attorney and you're already explaining what makes them unique is you should have 52 email sequence series set up so that they're going to get constant messages about what it is that makes you unique so they're constantly reminded of you. So this program goes into all the various things like how and why is the attorney going to give me their cell phone number? I have attorney 
uh, cell phone numbers from all over the country. I get texts all the time. How and why? Well, because I'm unique and I've got a uniqueness that they can't get anywhere else. I want to teach you to make you so unique that they can't get it anywhere else in your community. That's why they'll want your cell phone number. That's why, they, and when they start communicating you and asking you questions via text, you have them as a long-term relationship. You have referrals, you have everything that goes with it. So let's go through, great, 997, 1997, 997, 4997, 03. We add the master, we add the professional follow-up bonus to it. Now that's gonna be for you over this weekend, now, right now, to take advantage of this. Um, total package value, we normally sell it for $49.99. I'm gonna give it to you at 87% off which means total lifetime access. And when I say lifetime access, we continue to produce materials. Once you buy this, you're gonna see marketing materials we continue to produce, new marketing materials. So we continue on even though you're in it and you will use this information, I guarantee it, for the rest of your career. You can build the largest injury practice you want to or the largest chronic pain practice you want to using this information. Now, the simple part is Mark is gonna put this a link into the chat box. And what that link's gonna do, I'm gonna show you one additional thing. And Mark, can you put that link in? Is that link in? I just, I just posted it. Okay, great. So you're, when you click on this link, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna click on the link and it's gonna say, hey, enroll now. This is the Smart Injury Doctors enrollment page going to tell you everything that you just got that we talked about and it's going to tell you that you can do it one time three monthly payments or six monthly payments so you can get in, involved with this as little as 399 dollars now i guarantee you just one booklet that you have to go out and send and put to an attorney you probably would spend 399 dollars producing so i've made it so incredibly simple to get involved. Um, the link, you just, simp you just simply hit the link below. Now, what I'd like to do is kind of open it up, Mark. I mean, I could play more testimonials. I have more testimonials lined up um, about how easy the program is or how fast, it, you know, how, how quick it is to grow and, and, and whatnot. But I think what I'd like to do at this point is just open it up to question and answers. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We already have a question, but I want to tell people in the waiting room, you have two ways to ask a question. If you have a red microphone with a line through it in your control panel, that means you have audio. If you have a question, raise your hand. I'll see that your hand is raised. I'll unmute you. Your microphone will turn green and you can ask your question. Um, if you don't have that little red, red microphone, that's okay. You can type your question out in the question tab. Uh, I'll see them. I'll read them in uh, the order that I get them and then Dr. Cron can go ahead and answer. So we do have a question here. Uh, this yeah. question is from Todd. The question is, is the non-disc spinal ligament injury diagnosis not a part of chiropractic school curriculum? In other no, words- 100%, I already know the question, I, go ahead. Okay, yeah. In other words, do most new grads have exposure to this information or why not? How new is it, thanks. No, the old grads and the new grads don't have don't have exposure. So I'm gonna tell you a story. So I was just in a very large law firm and I'm very used to being in these law firms. So the materials I'm presenting and showing you how to present as the same materials I'm presenting in the largest law firms. I mean, three weeks ago I was in the largest law firm in the country. Um, but this is a, this law firm I'm talking about, I'm in. I'm in a boutique law firm. Now these guys are phenomenal. I mean, they're phenomenal. What what they get as far as uh, settlements was like, I was like, wow. Now, they're talking about when I'm going into an attorney firm, I already know the attorneys are not trained on injuries. They don't, they've never had any training. So I'm a source of training for them and a source of great information for them. But one of the things that they did is they said, well, look, um, I, I started off by saying, look, the biggest challenge that you have with this injury is you don't you don't know anything about the injuries. So, well, no, we have a medical doctor that reviews all our cases. So we have a full-time medical doctor that's our provider liaison. I said, great, that's fantastic. Now, doctors, behind the scene in my mind, I'm going, okay, let me get the medical doctor in because I'm gonna show the medical doctor and this will relate to the doctor's question. I'm gonna get the medical doctor in because I have to show the attorney 
that no one in this area in their office knows anything about these injuries, right? So the medical doctor comes in, we introduce ourselves, the medical doctor is a pediatrician, which is fine. Her job is to review notes, her job is to review everything and to make sure that everything's complete, liaison with the doctors that they need to. So I say, hey, doctor, um, I'm just gonna use her name, Dr. Smith, Dr. Jones. Uh, Dr. Smith, as a pediatrician, here's what I'm gonna say to you. I'm a trained doctor of chiropractic in no chiropractic school in the country is their training specific on spinal injuries. I never had it in my whole time. It's currently not being taught in any chiropractic school in the country. And I would fair to say that's probably never been taught in medical school. So do you have any training or any understanding of these ligament injuries, of these injuries? She said, no, 100% no. Now, once I got that, Good. Now I know that the law firm knows that their specialist that they bring in about these this condition knows nothing about the condition. And it's all done in a really highly professional, very acceptable way. But the acceptance level, if, if the understanding of a spinal ligament injury was in the market today, it would not be, lumbar spine would not be the number one cause of chronic pain and disability in the world today. Neck pain would not be number four, and headaches would not be number six. Because those three conditions arise right out of a ligament condition that is generally, most often, the non-disc ligament damage. So, uh, Todd, there's no chiropractic college in, in the world that I'm aware of, in the past or current, that teaches you about spinal ligament injuries. And that's, the nice thing is, the, the downside of that is, that's a bummer, they, it should. The upside of it is, is learning it is really easy because you already have the background. So learning it's super, that's why I say that the learning aspect of it is under six hours. And the majority of that is showing you the consensus, showing you the things that you're gonna need so that when I go into a law firm, I wanna be able, myself, my liaison possibly is, is not going to be able to learn how to present this aspect of it. The liaison is going to get me in front of them. But when I'm in front of them, when they ask questions, my ability to answer questions with simple, understandable answers extremely quickly is what gets me to business. Because I, that's not happening. And I can also set them up to say, hey, go ask your other doctors. This is what you're going to hear. Oh, yeah, we can. How do, you, how do you determine the severity and the location of a ligament injury? Your examination procedure. There's not one exam procedure that's built for it. There's exam procedures that are built to correlate with something else, but not direct. No orthopedic test tells you that. No amount of palpation can tell you that. So, I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. I have another no, question. I wanted to, this is a good one. What diagnosis code do you use for ligament injury recognized by Colossus? Good. So here's the thing. I'm going to answer that question by saying, what what diagnosis did what condition did the ligament injury produce? Mm -hmm. Did it and produce a, did it did it produce a facet syndrome? Then you use facet syndrome. Did it produce a spinal instability? Then you use spinal instability. Is there ligament laxity associated? That's the one that everybody knows something about. They've heard ligament laxity. Ligament laxity. Um, ligament laxity is such a small component. Alteration, motion, segment, integrity. A lot of doctors know about that. It's such a small component. It's a powerful component. It's a very important component. But it's very small in the, in the overlying understanding of the condition itself. So the, the diagnosis is what the condition caused. Now, you can have a disc, in, a disc herniation. That's a ligament injury, right? So you're going to code for a disc herniation. But if you have a disc herniation, what are the other nine ligaments doing around it? Because if you have spinal instability around a disc herniation, that's a serious condition. That's a condition that, um, one, the patient should know that because they should be given the kind of expectations of what their recovery is really going to be like. And in most cases, it's not going to be a really easy recovery. So they should know that. So they don't have false expectations about it. 
So it, it the the Colossus question and the question of diagnosis codes it depends on what the ligament injury there's ligament injury right you could say ligament laxity or you could say sprain sprain is a ligament injury it's a generalized ligament injury but then what does it cause what condition is it causing and so those conditions that it's caused the injury itself and the conditions it's causing that's what you're that's what you're diagnosing well that leads in perfectly into this question uh, so simply put, what is the treatment for a non-disc spinal ligament injury? Well, you just explained it. It just depends what that injury is causing. Yeah, and it's also, <clears throat> um, I'll 100% guarantee you that every doctor on this call is treating these things and adjusting these things. They just don't know what, where, and how bad, and how to direct. So the things that you're already doing are working to some degree. So those things are the things that you use to treat it with. But when you start to understand the where and the why, and you're more focused with what it is, where it is, and why you're doing what you're doing, you will see that you have much better results. So one of the common things that comes up is, is can a chiropractor treat a spinal ligament injury? Well, if you can't, you're, you need to be out of the market. Can they treat an instability? If you can't, you need to be out of the market that's what you're treating all day long but you should know what you're treating and how what you're doing does what it does and then once you do you can narrow your focus and once you start to narrow your focus you will find that your results will go up significantly and then other things like hey are there other things in the market there's physical therapy there's physical rehabilitation incredible for injury work there's also the the whole regenerative medicine space that's coming in incredible for injury work so there's a you know there's additional things that you can add to that but the basics are still the treatments you're already delivering if that makes sense yep love it doc um so we have another question uh she's gonna ask it let's see okay on. so i love it yeah i don't think you have audio you may have to type your question i'm sorry She doesn't have audio. So Keisha, if you have a question, you can type it. Um, well, doc, here's another question. Is this good for chiropractors only or is it good for like medical doctors uh, or osteopathic doctors, interventional pain docs? Is this good for all, all of them? Yeah, all of them, all of them. Because like I can go up the, I, I can go up the chain. Um, first of all, let, let's just take the, the Let's take an orthopedic. Let's take a pain management center. You got an orthopedist that's doing injections, that's doing ablations, and they possibly maybe even are doing surgery. So let's let's say that's 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 the center. Um, one, they are the main thing that they're treating is the condition that I'm explaining. That's the main thing that they're treating. Now, oftentimes those centers have had a very poor workup done. So one of the things is everybody is all your services and all of the things that you're doing are based on the injury itself how severely damaged is the injury how how severely damaged is the person right so yeah they needed 30 40 50 60 chiropractic adjustments they needed physical therapy they needed injections now they needed uh, ablation now hey they might even need a spinal fusion surgery but let's just stop at the ablation right so we have this big big bill Right. Well, that big bill is based if if, if they had a hangnail, nobody's going to pay that bill. Right. So for the orthopedic centers or for the other doctor centers, yes, this is just as important. And in some cases, more important because it allows you to one, diagnose a condition and become unique. If I'm an orthopedic center and I want to go out and I want to I want to go out and grab attorneys. I want to grab attorney tension and I want more market share. Good. I'm going to go to the non-disc ligament area. Everybody thinks they know the disc area. I'm going to go the non-disc ligament area. I'm going to go to the spinal instability area. Now I'm going to also go to my chiros that I have my liaisons going out to to, to get business into them. And I'm going to say, hey, we understand this condition. We even understand if the workup's not done in, in a 
you know, you're not doing the workup. We can do the workup for you and it's going to help your reimbursement. You get better reimbursement. It's going to help the attorneys like you even more. And you might even learn to do this yourself. So it doesn't matter any, it, the, the spinal injury does not care. If I have a, if I have a burn, let's say I got a severe burn on my arm. My burn doesn't care if I'm in a medical doctor's office, if I'm in a naturopath's office, if I'm in a DC's office, if I'm in the vet. The burn is the burn. The injury is the injury. Doesn't matter what doctor's office I'm in. So if you are a doctor that's treating the spinal injury in the spinal injury space, yes, this is a program for you as well. And Dr. Kronk, how would this is another follow-up question from Mark? How would you explain a non-disc injury? without symptoms and future complication. What, when you uh, ask me that question again? I guess, I think what he's trying to say is, so let's say you have some of these ligaments that are injured, that are non-disc, the other ligaments, but they're not producing any symptoms and future complication. How would you explain, so again, how would you explain a non-disc injury without symptoms and future complications? Okay, so when you say without, without symptoms, are you talking about like, hey, they're injured, but they have no symptoms? I believe that's what he's asking. Mark, if you want to uh, elaborate for a little more clarity, that would be awesome for Dr. Kronk. So like somebody broke my arm, but there's no pain. He said, yeah, that's correct. No, there's no no symptoms. However, on, on um, radiology, I guess there is some. Um, so here's the thing. Here's, here's how I answer that question. That's simple, Mark. So if a person sprained their ankle and they have no pain, they didn't sprain their ankle. Okay, so uh, there's no way to sprain your ankle without pain, right? So there's no way to get an act. Active injuries cause pain. Active in, now, if the if the thing isn't innervated, which these are highly innervated, let's say that's you know I don't know I guess you could have an injury to the brain and not have any pain because there's no innervation to it. But these tissues are highly innervated. Um, Got it. And the, the thing that's really unique about them is they're far more unique than any other ligament structure anywhere else in the body, right? So think of these things as like loaded with, recept with receptors, mechanoreceptors and, and nociceptors. They're loaded with them because that's the thing, you know, if, if I, so yeah, you're not going to have, but let's talk, let's, let's refine that question. Let's say, um, because I'm going to give you an example of, I think, where the doctor's going. So let me take a stab at it for this doctor. So when I say, look, you got to train your patients. One of the biggest things, if I'm in injury practice, is I want my liaison, getting referrals from attorneys. I want referrals from medical doctors. I want my marketing, my billboard, whatever I'm, I'm doing, direct for patients. I want to train my patients so they can go out and communicate it to other patients. But one of the things that a lot of doctors miss on and this is where a 60-day, we have an email series that explains this to the patient. We teach you to explain it to the patient. Anytime you have a ligament injury, it causes an instability. And in anything that's unstable is prone to unpredictable or erratic behavior. So if your neighbor's unstable, they'll do erratic or unpredictable things. Now, you won't know when or where. It's not timed. It's something will set them off. Okay, so 50% of the patients that have a ligament injury are never going to fully recover. You think they recovered because they're in your office under care two, three times a week, one time a week. They've never been off care. I can guarantee you when they go off care, a majority of them, a lot of them, are going to have chronicity start to come back in if you've not talked to them and explained the condition to them. Now, here you are. You've got this main source. You got a patient, the patient went through your program, they did everything, right? This is what's currently happening in a lot of offices. They settle. Six months later, they have the neck pain, they have the back pain, they have the radicular complaint, they have the headaches. And the only thing they feel like is the doctor got paid, the attorney got paid, and I somehow got screwed. That's not a situation where they're going to refer back to you. Now, what I teach in my program is you're going to teach them exactly what they're going to hit. If they decide that they don't, we're going to talk about supportive care on a ligament injury in week one. Now, we're not going to sell them on supportive care. We're going to educate them on it, right? 
this thing's prone to erratic or unpredictable behavior. We're going to use simple things that they can understand. Good. If they decide they don't want to go on with any kind of care after they've done their accident, after their care is all done, that's fine. But we're going to be explaining to them again, hey, this thing causes instability and that can cause the symptom to come back. If it does, don't think for a minute that our treatment didn't work. It worked perfectly. It's just that there has to be some additional care called supportive care to help maintain the instability so it doesn't go unstable. Right now, let's say six months they decide, ah, Dr. Kronk, I'm not going to do that. Six months later, they decide, or they go, wow, this neck pain is coming back. They remember the conversation that I had with them. So my status goes up, not down. Because I know the condition. I know the condition I'm treating. And I'm telling the truth about it. And that's powerful for referrals. So I don't have to be out there like going everywhere and doing 10, 15, you know, five years, six years, 10 years, constantly being out new, 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 new. Because I'm using the resources that I have that are coming in every day and I'm converting those resources into practice expansion resources, all of them. And that's why I say this is a system. Yep. And Doc, we have a follow-up question. Uh, so let's say they had pain initially, I guess pain initially from the non-disc injury, but after four to six months of care and the patient had pain management injections, but now asymptomatic, and we know they should use caution to avoid exacerbation, but what can the attorney or doctor say to explain the significance of trauma injury for insurance recovery? It's permanent. It's 100% permanent. So I, I show you in, whether you want to use surgical guidelines, permanent impairment guidelines, you want to use the return to play parameter guidelines, you want to use best practice guidelines, which on most of those guidelines I just named, most providers don't know anything about those guidelines. Now, if you wanted to go explore those guidelines, good luck. Again, you're looking at probably another 100 or 200 hours just trying to figure out, well, where does it say this? Or what, what does it say about this? And how does this relate? So in this program, we just show them to you. It, the American Pain Association says that if the person has any form of chronic pain in the lower back, now what you're talking about is an asymptomatic person, but I just said on the, on, for for a settlement side, um, one of the things that you have to understand is is that you as doctors are, and I know this is a tough nut to swallow sometimes for doctors, but your job is to reduce claim benefit need, not increase it. What I mean by that is if a patient comes in, they had a low back injury, uh, they went in the emergency room, the emergency room said, oh my God, I don't know why they can't walk, they can't walk, they're in a wheelchair. They come into your office, they don't have anything broken, they don't have cord damage. They had a ligament condition that was causing massive amounts of pressure. And you did six months worth of care and now they're running a 10K run. They have no back pain at all. And they have no problems at all. Their future needs are not as high. So their insurance settlement is not gonna be as high. Now there's not an attorney in the country that doesn't know that. But what you're showing is a permanent condition oftentimes. So it's a permanent condition. It will have future ramifications. And all you have to do is show the, you just have to show the consensus around that. It's pretty easy to show. And then my, and my job as the doctor, my job as the doctor was really simple. I got to provide, I, I got to, my documentation is going to allow the patient access to any benefits they might be entitled to. Those could be future benefits, current benefits, uh, medical benefits, employer benefits, insurance benefits, settlement benefits, jury benefits. My job is just to show what they have. And that's the easiest job in the world because once you, that's all you're doing, your job gets a lot easier. You're not working on, hey, look, you're going to explain something that nobody can really explain. And now they're going to hire a doctor that has far better credentials than you do that say what you just said was BS. Mine is, okay, I just said what Medscape said. I just said what the AMA said. I just said what the National Surgical Guidelines say. I just said what, so mine is gonna be what the consensus says about the condition. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, Dr. Kronk, we've gone uh, about an hour yeah. and 15 minutes. Yeah. I wanna thank you so much for 
uh, presenting today, not only to my clients, but uh, people that have subscribed to my email list and just in my stratosphere of contacts. So I wanna sincerely thank you for that. But before we let everyone go, uh, Dr. Kronk, anything that you wanna add, any final notes? I did put that link in the chat section if you wanna get this program for a fraction of what Dr. Kronk sells us for uh, on his website for the normal price. And uh, price an incredible value. It's your X factor. Being able to diagnose these non-disc ligament injuries, this is what's gonna set yourself apart from the hundreds of other chiropractors or other doctors that are practicing PI in your city, but do not have something that sets them apart, and, and which is essentially their X factor. Uh, Good. By the way, Mark is thanking, uh, thanking us for uh, the info on the consensus. So Mark, you're certainly welcome. So Dr. Kronk, I'll let you uh, take it away with any final thoughts before we let everyone go. Uh, yeah, the, go the final thought that I'm gonna give you, and I appreciate it, Mark, the final thought I'm gonna give you is that this price right here at 1997, this is actually problematic for us. Because what we're finding, what we're finding is that we're there's so much value in here that this undervalues it. It makes it seem like there's not that much value. So we're going to be putting our price back up. Right now, you can you can get into this thing for three hundred ninety nine dollars, and you're in it for life. Once you're in it, you're in it for life. Once it's paid, there is no other recurring fees to it. You will use this material, and you'll use the materials in this for the rest of your career. No questions asked. So right now over the weekend, and I said, hey, look, I'll throw in the professional follow-up course for, for right now or up through the weekend, you'll see that. Now, it'll change after that. So you wanna take advantage of this now. You're not gonna see it at this price again. So now is the time. And that's the only thing I'm gonna say, Mark. Uh, on it, I certainly appreciate you, you know, everything you've done and I'm looking forward to working with you for till you retire and I retire. <laughs> When's that gonna be? I don't know. Probably so when I'm dead, and I don't know It'll, who dies first. That's right. Well, Dr. Cronk, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Uh, the great information, excellent presentation. Thank you so much. Uh, so this video will be posted in my private Facebook group, the Personal Injury Accelerator, uh, and then we'll get this out if you want to watch it again, if you missed it over the weekend, so you can take advantage of that 1997 save over almost 70 percent of what Dr. Cronk normally charges. So. Thanks, Doc, for You're welcome. today. Have a wonderful rest of the week. We're not going to have a seminar on Monday. It's Memorial Day. So have a wonderful rest of the week, a wonderful weekend, and uh, take advantage of this uh, offer from Dr. Cronk today. It's really going to set you apart. It's your X Factor. Uh, so, again, thank you, Dr. Cronk, for doing this You're webinar welcome. today. Thanks, everyone. Take care.